if you play American style Mahjong and you want to play in a tournament, one way that you can practice making quicker decisions during the Charleston is something that I call Charleston Sprints. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you don't miss anything. So with Charleston Sprints, what you do is, you get all your tiles out, you give yourself a drawn hand, 14 tiles. Let's just say you're the dealer. Then you create a mock Charleston, and you time yourself. I think for beginners, if you make decisions in under four minutes, that would be good practice until you're comfortable. Then push yourself to make decisions in under three minutes, and then finally make decisions in under two minutes. I think advanced players can make decisions in under two minutes comfortably, and that would fit right in with a tournament. You gotta make decisions pretty quickly in a tournament because you play in 12 minute games. This is a good way to practice. Let me show you how it's done. So here are all my tiles. I have a smartphone out with a stopwatch on it. We're gonna do five laps. Laps one, three, and five will be the sprints, and laps two and four will be set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the 14 random tiles. And now I will set up the mock Charleston. You ready? Here we go. I see a lot of odds. The only multiple we have is a north. So I'm thinking let's hold odds, all odds, and we have tiles we can pass. Process of elimination. We're holding all odds and wins and dragons. If you get any jokers, just exchange them. So here's a west and two fives. We got a pair of fives. So there's a multiple now that we can keep. Let's go ahead and hold one, five, seven, nine. Let's give up the three, seven and the three. Oh, I don't want to pass like numbers. No, I do not. Let's give up the west. There, let's give up those three. I'm thinking the north can be joker bait. Okay, so we've got a one, three. Here's a west, four. Let's go ahead and give up the north. I think we're far better off going with odds. We got a one and we got a nine. So we have an eight here. One, five, seven, nine. We could play the one suit or we could play one, three, five, five, seven, nine. Let's give up the five dot. I'm thinking the concealed hand maybe. Okay, there's a nine bam. Well, we don't really need to worry about that dragon. Let's throw those three and draw. We got a one crack and we have tiles we can pass. Oh, I don't want to pass like numbers. So we have to pick a hand. So I'm thinking one, three, five, five, seven, nine. I will give up the one crack for the optional cross. Oh no, we're still got one more pass left. Oh goody. Oh, we got a three. One, three, five, seven, nine. We have tiles here that we can pass. I don't think there's anything in here. Okay, lap. Wow, I went over big time. But I was thinking one, three, five, five, seven, nine, the concealed hand under one, three, five, seven, nine, the last one. We need five bams. And then of course we need to pung here. So we would have five discards, but another hand we could play would be the one, three, five, seven, nine the first one under one, three, five, seven, nine, and this could be joker bait. Either way, we have about five or six discards. So that was not a really great Charleston. You know, if we got a one dot, we could even maybe play the 
one three five seven nine pair hand this would be the third from the bottom under singles and pairs we would have five discards for that one but there are options which is nice one three five seven nine if you would have done anything different for that sprint let me know okay we got to shave off some time i went over 34 seconds this is one reason why it's such great practice Okay, sprint two. Okay, we have a two. This two dot, this is the strength of the hand right there. So I'm thinking maybe we could play a year hand. If we're playing a year hand, I would hold the dragon. And of course I would hold the seven bam. Um, if we're holding dragons, I would hold the winds. So by process of elimination, I think we have tiles we can pass. Exchange any joker. Exchange any joker. There's a dragon. Keep it. Okay, 2-7. Here's a 2-7. We've got tiles we can pass. 2017. Let's pass these three. 7. 3 six four okay if we're going to play a 2017 hand i don't think we need all of these let's give up the seven we could play like oh gosh that is getting really risky i'm going to break that up and give up a seven dot because maybe we could even play the big hand oh my goodness look at that dragons eight dot now we pick a hand this is when you pick a hand. I'm thinking we could maybe play the 2017 hand. We could play maybe the 2017. Hmm. We could play all dragons. Let's give up the seven. Discards. Discards. There's a keeper and a flower. Now we have to decide. I'm thinking I would play the big hand. Let's pass these three. The big year hand. So we need red dragons. We have four discards for the biggest hand on the card. If you would have done something different, let me know. Like maybe play one of the, the other year hands. Maybe the 2017 with sevens or the concealed hand. That might have been a possibility, but I like playing big, big hands. Push yourself. It's a lot of fun. And if you're playing in a tournament, it could be very lucrative. So let's do another sprint. Here we go, last one. I'm thinking odds. Five, seven, nine. See all these five, sevens, and nines? There is one hand that uses dragons with the five, sevens, and nines. Let's throw these three. Actually, with a two, four, let's give up the south. Oh my goodness sake. Okay, there's a five nine. Five nine. And we have tiles we can pass. Don't pass a pair. Okay, seven and five. So now we have to pick a hand. We have no dis well, we have one discard. So we have five, seven, nine. 
one three five maybe one three five five seven nine all we need is a three dot in there five seven nine five seven five seven five seven nine five seven five seven nine let's give up the five bam seven crack okay let's give up the seven bam because we could play five seven five seven nine so let's get rid of those nine crack that's a keeper the one dot is a keeper so I'm thinking one, three, five, five, seven, nine. Let's go ahead and give up these three. No keepers. Those three. Discards, optional cross. Okay, lap. So four discards, one, three, five. We need three dot here, five, seven, nine, four discards. This would be the last hand down under odds. We need a three dot and we need to pung. That was not bad for that Charleston. If you end up with four discards after the Charleston, I think that's really a successful Charleston. Let's see how things went with the timing. Sprint one, two minutes, 34 seconds. Sprint two, two minutes, 28 seconds. Sprint three, two minutes, 30 seconds. I went over. So clearly I need to practice. If I'm going to be playing in any tournament soon, I better be doing sprints a little more often than I am. I really think it's great practice. If you haven't tried it yet, get your set out, give it a try, and let me know how it goes for you. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, click subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell. That way you get notification for when I post new videos. Between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.